And finally from Saudi Arabia, fast, fierce, and now a lot greener, motorsport is entering a new era in the Saudi desert. A brand new racing series, Extreme H, debuts with the world's first hydrogen-powered off-road cars. These high-performance vehicles race across tough terrain, leaving nothing behind but water vapor. Our next report takes you inside this high-speed, eco-friendly revolution. The roar of engines in the Saudi desert just got a little cleaner and a lot more futuristic. A brand new racing series called Extreme H has made its debut in Kadiya City, showcasing the world's first hydrogen-powered off-road race cars. Built as the next step from all-electric Extreme E series, this championship pushes motorsport into a new, greener era. The sleek, dust-spraying Pioneer 25 cars run on hydrogen fuel cells, meaning their only emission is water vapor. These cars have been designed for tough terrain and high performance. So we want to push on for the next, the next energy source, the next, the next level of technology, and we, we thought that hydrogen was the right way to go. So we've developed, a, we've developed an, an all-new car. Um, it looks similar to our, uh, the previous Xtreme E car, but actually it's very, very removed. Uh, suspension geometries and so on, and all those great lessons we learned in, in Xtreme E have been carried over to Xtreme H. So how does it work? Each car carries onboard hydrogen tanks that feed fuel cells, generating electricity to power the battery and twin electric motors. What we've got with uh, our hydrogen car is we've got onboard tanks, like you would associate with a, with a gas car, um, but we've got a hydrogen fuel cell that converts that hydrogen into electricity and water vapor. That electricity powers uh, our onboard battery that's provided by Fortescue. Um, and that, that electricity from the battery powers the front and rear electric motors. The hydrogen cars are significantly heavier, around 500 to 600 kilos more than their electric predecessors. That extra weight means drivers have to rethink how they handle the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, in, in terms of driving the car, it's not so big difference for the driver itself if it's hydrogen or electric, because basically it's, we drive from the battery and the hydrogen is charging the battery. So the biggest difference is the weight of the car. It's a lot heavier. It's uh, between five, 600 kilo heavier. Uh, so that takes a little bit of different driving style in terms of that you have to brake a little bit earlier. While teams are still fine tuning their vehicles, the early races already show that hydrogen technology can perform under extreme weather conditions. The debut FIA Extreme H World Cup ended with Jamil Motorsports' Kevin Hansen and Molly Taylor taking the top spot marking a milestone moment for the sport. Here is a look at hydrogen-powered cars on the market. Hydrogen-powered cars, known as fuel cell electric vehicles, are paving the way for a cleaner future on the roads. Leading the pack are models like the Toyota Mirai and the Hyundai Nexo, two of the most advanced vehicles currently available to everyday drivers. In Saudi Arabia, as the cars kick up clouds of desert dust while quietly emitting nothing but water vapor, Extreme H proves that motorsport and sustainability can go hand in hand. This could be the start of a new chapter where speed meets sustainability and racing goes truly clean. In short, the desert heat might stay the same, but the future of racing just got a lot cooler. Want the facts? The latest developments. News that gets straight to the point. Well, we've got all three just for you. This is First Post Live, a brand new show. Your window into what really matters. Don't miss it.